Data stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. Good. Use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Well done. The Animus differentiates between two fundamental actions, low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Good. Using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. Well done. The Animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Now, select your hidden blade. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. Happened here.
The dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed, as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. He's an assassin! Notice how the social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. You can't run forever! Whoa! You can't hide. Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. Now run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Good. Your social status indicates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. That's right. You do well to hide. Well done. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. Being anonymous will fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Let us continue with a demonstration of Blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Good. Now that you are fully synced, a new ability is available to you. Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Well done. Remember, Eagle Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life, or by respecting the creed. You have successfully completed the tutorial. The most stable memory block will now be loaded. Wait! There must be another way. This one need not die. An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. 
else he would not have asked me to retrieve it. before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Sable, his life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy, and here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Templars, you are not the only ones with business here. Ah, well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Skipping part of memory to a more recent one. 